Oh, you got a major arcana. Well, let's all be honest here. My past felt like a major arcana. <laughs> <laughs> what Arthur, the hell are you going to do? Arthur, this was supposed to be about my love life, and I'm scared. Hello, theologists or sisters and misters. Welcome to the coven. Okay, yeah, so I was talking about getting a new tarot deck because I had an argument with my tarot deck. <laughs> uh, a lot of witches actually do have arguments with their tarot decks. It's not uncommon. <laughs> you know, a lot of people just say that their tarot decks are assholes. Well, that's true, but it's just because they tell the truth. <laughs> it was so off and I was just like, you know what? No, get out. Get out of my life. It was from a different time. <laughs> It was from, it was so many years old that I think it just needed replacement. So there's this game that I've been playing called The Arcana. Not sponsored. But shout out. Yeah, shout out. Please uh, sponsor us. Actually, that'd be a nice sponsor to have. Hey, The Arcana, sponsor us. Hey, Nyx Hydra. There you go. Oh, shit. Nyx Hydra. Why, are, yeah. why do I curse within the first minute? I need to stop doing that. Ella, we don't do that. I mean, it's fine because it's not like we're fucking monetized. Fuck. <laughs> <laughs> so I got I got a deck from the Arcana um, because I seem to have a thing for fandom decks. I I like the art style over um, the classic decks, and you can use any kind of tarot deck. It doesn't matter if it's fandom based um, because they still all work the same. I right. think that it's um, a little bit misunderstood that tarot decks do not tell the future. They kind of pave the way and give you advice. And, and you know, basically what I've picked up from tarot decks is primarily just that, like, it doesn't matter what the iconography is. It's less about that and more about how you connect with it um, and how you interpret each of the cards. Because again, you said in a past episode, it's you putting your energy into the deck. It's not that the deck itself is magical. Which took so much effort with this deck. Oh my goodness, there was like almost nothing. <laughs> but you did it. Congrats. <laughs> uh, however, I wanted to do a tarot reading for Emma real quick, just to see how it's functioning today. Yeah, let's just give a little update. Since uh, from the last time you recorded, you Since basically the last <laughs> false one. <laughs> <laughs> you basically denounced your old tarot deck. My old tarot deck, I placed uh, somewhere where I won't be messing with it, and put black salt on it, and just left it. I know where it is, but I will not be touching it. You I don't. buried the fucker. I didn't bury it. You gave it a fucking funeral. I did give it a slight funeral. <laughs> <laughs> may you rest in peace let's get on with this one do you want to do the same question uh yeah so i think it was just like general advice from the universe right that's usually like what i wind up asking um this one was actually about yawn oh was it mm -hmm. was it a relationship read yeah oh my god okay yeah then let's do that if, if we're gonna try to make <laughs> Try to do like an update. Yeah, let's make it the same and see what this one says instead. Because you wanted to see if it was going to say things that were lies or if it was going to see <gasps> right. truthful ones. You're so right. I should have rewatched that episode. <laughs> <laughs> my God, you're so horrible. <laughs> you're so horrible. Oh my God. So what question do you want to ask this time? All right. Universe slash tarot deck. <laughs> Tell me, please, I beseech you about... My love life, my relationship, my future love endeavors. Please and right. thank you. How's that? That's good. Sick. <laughs> Let me shuffle. Woo. We should have a shuffle song. The shuffle song. We be shuffling, shuffling, shuffling song. Yeah, we be shuffling, shuffling song. I feel like you bought it on copyright at first. Wow. Was it that good? <laughs> <laughs> It's fine. It just can't be as long as 30 seconds. <laughs> it has to be sung bad. I didn't have a song in my head, Shuffle but I did shuffling. have a song in my heart. <laughs> okay. One of these days, I'll make a cool shuffling song in London. Past, present, future. Really like creepy sci-fi kind of sound. 
Lots of synth. I heard that is simp. Lots of simp. A lot to simp. That was difficult to shuffle through. The cards didn't want to give me any information. So let's see what we get. I wonder what that means. Uh, They didn't want to give me any sort of um, feeling to them this time. And then only two sets did. And I was like, I need three. And it was like, you only get two. So I decided to just take uh, no vibes off of three. And we'll see what happens. Okay. So past. What we got. Oh, you got a major arcana. Well, let's all be honest here. My past felt like a major arcana. (laughs) (laughs) All right. So you ready to hear about the past? You got the world. (laughs) It just sounds about right. Reversed. Hey, there it is. That's what I was waiting for. (laughs) Everyone in the audience is like, the hell did she do in her past? That was so fucked. Everything. Everything. (laughs) The world strays from its path just before its final goals are met. Something holds it back. You may be lacking closure. Don't risk losing your way when your journey is almost at its end. Bet. (laughs) Interesting. (laughs) I get it. You know, that one definitely relates to, for me, it sounds like past relationship. Mm -hmm. Um, It sounds like both, uh, honestly, it sounds like both abusive relationships in my life of just like that, you finally deserve that closure. Like you've, you're almost at the end of this painful journey. Just don't give up on getting that closure. And I didn't, you know? Yeah, I very much um, asked it about your love life too. I don't even think I specified your boyfriend. (laughs) Yeah. Uh, but I think it works. I think it makes sense. I definitely needed closure before I moved on. So that works for a past card. If I got that for a present card, I'd be very confused. <laughs> Would you like to see a present card? I'm ready. Okay, present. Huh. Eight of cups. Okay. We like cups. I think we like cups. You may be feeling restless with the way your life is going. You yearn for an escape from monotony. Plan a getaway, but remember to gain what you want from your journey you may have to leave things behind huh i feel like this is more of a like what were the problems what was what was the problem what's causing the problem and how do you solve it i guess so i don't know for me that almost sounds like okay so one thing that uh my boyfriend and i have been chatting about is the possibility of moving out hopefully like in a year maybe you know depending on you know, financial situation as well as COVID. Um, So like, to me, it kind of sounded like, you know, that getaway to leave things behind. It sounded like moving on in that sense to me. Hmm. I didn't even know that about you. (laughs) Yeah, it was, I mean, like, it's just something that we've been chatting about. It's more so like, because we both, obviously, I'm sure everybody can relate this past year uh, with job security. (laughs) Um, But you know, as we get like more serious with our relationship, Uh, It's definitely been something on our mind of just like, yeah, we would like to have our own place, uh, hopefully within a year or two. And, you know, it's definitely something I am yearning for. I am moderately sick of the monotony of living here. Which makes sense. Yeah, that's kind of how I interpreted that. Okay, future. All right, what we got? Lay it on me. Oh, that one's interesting. Is it positive? I don't know. I'll have to look through it. I haven't received this card too often, if I recall. What do we got? The Queen of Wands. Reversed. No. <laughs> no. Reversed isn't always bad. It's foreboding. <laughs> The Queen of Wands is stubborn and quick-tempered, easily losing her temper when things don't go her way. Do not let your fire burn those around you with its intensity. Try to take other people's perspectives into account. Okay, I'm lost. Yeah, I might need some confirmation on that one. Uh, that really doesn't sound like current me. Maybe past me. That does not sound like current me. And that's not me being like, oh, I'm, I'm so great like oh i always think of like it's not even that it's just like i usually my instinct is to put others needs before mine sometimes my cards need a confirmation especially for future ones so let me draw a confirmation card and you did say you didn't feel anything when you picked that one up yep a major arcana okay Ooh, that's fun is it upright no shit (laughs) 
hate that. <laughs> this is justice reversed. Justice reversed. Jesus Christ. What did I do? I don't know. What am I going to do? <laughs> justice has allowed bias to cloud her judgment, darkening the world with chaos and lies. Take a step back and gather all the facts before you make a decision. Your choices have consequences. What Arthur, the hell are you going to do? Arthur, this was supposed to be about my love life, and I'm scared. I know. I don't get it. <laughs> I mean, this is your future one. I feel like you're not meant to get it. <laughs> I mean, like, fair, but also, what? Yeah, that's a bit foreboding. I just don't see anything future-wise, like, going down that path. Things are just so, like, even these days. Like, the only thing that's up in the air is financial. So, like, I'm very confused. <laughs> it might be talking about take a step back and gather all the facts before you make a decision like this. It I, is a big decision. I mean, I guess so. I mean, so yeah. So don't go in, like, blindly. Blind. I know, but that's also just, like, super not like me. Like, I tend to not be that impulsive. Maybe I am. Maybe I don't know myself as well as I think I do. But I'm usually very it much, like, I want to know all my options. It doesn't necessarily say that, like, you're an impulsive person so much as it is telling you don't be impulsive. So is that basically, okay, in that case, is it more so, like, if you are impulsive this is what will happen like so just make sure that you're not doing that so it's like it's more of like a you're probably gonna be fine everything's looking good this is the only way things can go wrong yeah i think that's kind of what it's saying because even if you're not impulsive it's just saying don't become impulsive so now it just makes me wonder god i wonder where what our poll was last time uh horrible lies <laughs> no uh from our uh from your angie episode yeah it was horrible lies oh that's what it was yeah my cud wasn't telling me any true facts oh that's why i got angry at it huh i barely remember it was a while ago anyway uh audience take that as you will i myself We'll be terrified until then. <laughs> Isn't that always how it is with the future? Tara's great. Arthur, love the deck. Great. I enjoy this deck a lot. Great deck. Awesome deck. Oh my god, wait. I almost forgot what we should do. Hmm? Arthur, what is my card based on this deck? Oh, your card. What card represents me? If it's the fool, I will cry. The fool's not a bad card. I know, but it's it just it's so mean. <laughs> Why would you call somebody that? Like I couldn't get like you know I don't know the the fucking the sun the star I don't know literally any other major arcana. <laughs> oh, so are you saying that you want death or the devil? Okay, maybe not. <laughs> I also just remembered the tower is a thing, and I got scared. Mm-hmm. Okay, okay, maybe not sure. any other major arcana, but like the really cool ones. <laughs> There's no guarantee you're going to draw a major arcana. I know, but wouldn't it be hilarious? Watch you just draw the fool again. It's it's like a universal constant. It is a major arcana. Huh? Well, shit. <laughs> I believe this one's the hermit, but let me double check. That sounds about right. <laughs> Wow, both of them are equally mean. <laughs> Look, be nice to yourself. Listen, <laughs> the cards are the ones saying it, not me. <laughs> they're just being honest. Yeah, and they're mean about it. <laughs> so let me tell you all about the hermit. Tell me about myself. So upright, the hermit knows the value of silence and embraces it in all things. Look inside yourself for the answers you seek. Take time for introspection in the days ahead. Reversed, the hermit hides in his cave, 
shutting out the world and ignoring its lessons. Be wary of retreating too far within your own mind. Others still have valuable things to share. Dude, this is the mindfulness card. Mm -hmm. I'm all about that shit. So, welcome to the hermit. <laughs> it's it's better than the fool, I guess. The fool jumps off a cliff and doesn't fucking look when he does it. <laughs> Don't do that. Don't so be this, like the fool. <laughs> so the fool, the fool was telling you that you were impulsive. The hermit's telling you that you're not impulsive and you're mindful. <laughs> so maybe your old deck with all that old you know, teenage you energy. Maybe it was reading me from my teenage days when I was, I wouldn't call myself impulsive in action, but I definitely was impulsive in emotion. That being said, uh, hermit life, who's with me, uh, we could all be hashtag a little bit more. Life. Hashtag hermit life. Put that on a fucking t-shirt and sell it. <laughs> um, but yeah, I mean, hey, I, I've been boasting mindfulness uh, the importance of it. Um, and yeah, I mean, hey, it's not a bad thing to be reminded that too much mindfulness is also not a good thing. You know, if you do start to shut people out because of it. Um, I mean, hey, I wish it could be a little bit more flashy. Again, like maybe the moon or, or I don't know, the f what's another fucking major arcana that's pretty. Oh, like the empress or the priestess. <laughs> like, I don't know, the, the lovers, the fucking... I feel like you should read the descriptions before you make decisions here, Anna. I'm not making decisions. <laughs> I'm just saying. Okay, all right, the hermit. Oh, the hermit's like a, like a old, like a bear badger kind of thing. I think it's thing. a bear holding a um, little lantern draped in a coat. Cloak. He, he looks warm. Yeah, he looks soft and nice. It's like golden blue. I can get behind that. Or like strength. Look at this fucking like pretty ass lioness. <laughs> it's probably a lion because it has a mane. But it has titties. <gasps> Trans. Ah, <laughs> oh, the lovers are just two snakes with arms. They are um Azra's parents. They're just two little snakes with arms. Who said you guys could have arms? Who gave you two arms? Oh, the mm. empress is like a cow. The priestess is like an owl. Mm -hmm. and the fool is just a fucking cliff. <laughs> the, um, the magician intimidates me just because in the game you meet the magician. And I don't know, I feel intimidated. I mean, he does seem quite intimidating, but isn't he supposed to be, like, reaching your potential or something? Uh, the magician is all about um, taking action and making sure that you stay focused uh, and being wary of charismatic charmers and people who are fake. Oh. I'd say that I like, <laughs> ironically enough, uh, for aesthetics, either the hanged man death or the devil the three most deadly yeah i like the aesthetics of them not the uh you know yeah okay. i like how the world is just master uguay <laughs> judgment looks pretty cool uh the star is definitely some furry shit like i know they're all animals but like i know that that card in the regular deck she's also naked but that's some furry shit right there um, I think Temperance is probably my favorite in temperance. terms of look. It's a nice cut. Also, maybe the Chariot. Let's be honest, though. I like Soth. <laughs> Alrighty, so on that note, I'm gonna say stay spooky. Bye. <laughs>